Today we are going to show you the process of how to collect macroinvertebrates from a stream. What you are looking at is the equipment you will need. To the left you will see a white tub, a subsample tray, above that is the D-net, a turkey baster, ice cube trays, and a random sample sheet. So to start with, first step is to take the subsample tray and fill it with water. By filling it with water, you know exactly how much will fit back into that tray, and we're going to pour that into the white tub. Now is when we're going to start collecting macroinvertebrates. To do that, we are going to use a D-net, called a D-net because it's shaped like a D. Going to go to a place in the creek where water is moving, put it firmly at the bottom of the creek, and for about 30 seconds, stir up the water, rub the rocks, get all those bugs into the D net. And the D net should be facing upstream. Sleeve down. Sleeve down. So after 30 seconds, I'm going to take the D-net and all of the contents and come back to the white sample tub, inverting the net inside out and dropping all the contents into the tray. The process that you just saw collecting macroinvertebrates with a D-net will be repeated two additional times for a total of three D-net catches. Once you've collected three D-nets of macroinvertebrates, the next step is to take all the contents of the white tub swirl it to make sure all those contents get into the subsampling tray and evenly distribute that water throughout. Because of time constraints, the best way to count the number of bugs that we have is to take a random sample of the 18 different slots that are in that subsample tray. And to do that, what you need next is the random number sheet. You are going to pick five different random numbers from this sheet, and whatever number you choose is the number of the slot that you are going to pick. Number two is right here. We would use the turkey baster then to take all of the contents from that area and put it into one of the three ice cube trays. This process will be continued until five different numbers have been chosen and all of that water has been moved into one of the three ice cube trays. <laughs> now is the time to start identifying. Using the macroinvertebrate stream ID book, you are going to find the different macroinvertebrates in the ice cube tray, separate them out, counting them, and recording that data on a data sheet. 